Hello and welcome to the Halloween special of Let's Play Scribble Nuts. I'm your host, Unique You Guy. Let's start off by getting some bad guys into heaven, because that's what it's all about, really. Evil spirits trying to come into our plane of existence and ruffle things up. I mean, and I'm just punishing God right now by having him be the symbol of my wrongdoings as he throws himself into a pool of lava that's conveniently placed just for him. Alright, so we have to recreate the Frankenstein deal. It's got our own little uh, machine and dead body. Alright, so I'm just gonna open up the cage real quick if I can stand on it. Fuck it, this is taking too much effort. Let's just put something on it and be done with it. How about a skull? That seems to work very nicely. Okay, now for some lightning to start up our machine. And it's blowed up the machine. Well, the actual lightning should still revive our Frankenstein monster. Okay. Now we just gotta get him into the cage. So, let's push him along. If we can get him to... Uh, that, yeah. Okay, water blows up electronics. I remember this. <laughs> Trying again. Fan away. As Dr. Frankenstein sits, you know, safely in his little area, we're gonna put some brains inside the containment unit, and ta-da! Okay, we just need to... oh, it did... Maxwell, <laughs> you're not helping. Even though you're in your nice zombie costume, it's not helping me get through this. Okay, so look at the brains. They're all there just for you. And we just have to continue now, so... Skull off. Okay. Great. Alright. Simple puzzle, cool reenactment. And it's definitely stuff I want to see more of. Okay. This is a little peculiar. We have to help Little Red Riding Hood. I suppose the grim tales are, you know, they count. So let's start off with some silver, which werewolves hate. But it apparently is not enough to kill it, so we're going to give out the sun and completely make him into a normal person, which was good enough. Alright, good stuff. <sighs> More Halloween based stuff. I'm so glad I found this stage. Alright, so what does Dracula hate? Garlic, or vampires in general I should say. I just constantly look at that guy and say Dracula because it's I don't know it, it's good enough I, mean, I don't think of just generic vampires too often you know you think of the big ones like the stat and Dracula now I just gotta get the start I don't know I'm constantly upset by the lack of variety in these you know B-list uh, horror pictures like it all follows the same generic standbys and doesn't really push any boundaries or even goes into like sub lore uh, um, like no matter what the any moon is usually good enough to keep a werewolf in play but it's supposed to only be the full moon meaning these guys would only be there like once a month making it really hard for any actual plot to develop. So, I could see why they do that. But, you know, there's just other things, like... They really don't push the, uh... different... Uh, what was it? Uh, ethnicities or anything, really. Like, it's all very, you know... cut and dry. They have maybe one here or there. They don't really, like... The number one thing I notice is the lack of red-headed people. And I know there's a big thing in Europe where they're actually very against red-headed people, but I just find it obscure and not something to waste my time with. Um, as for... This is another thing that really annoys me. They think mutants or, like, the deformed are areas for Halloween and horror movies. I think that's just dumb. They're just people like you and me with different things. So let's give them presents of bicycles and unicycles and make them feel like they belong. 
because they don't belong in this Halloween area. They're just people like you and me trying to survive, but they get put in the sewers and this, that, and the other thing, so I feel like we're doing them a disservice by, you know, keeping them down there. I don't know. I feel bad for the mutants. They really do have a bad rap, and movies like uh, The Hills Have Eyes and stuff like that really give them a bad name. Um, I don't know. Like, I just think it's circumstantial horror. Like, they've become horrible people due to society. Mm. I've gone way too philosophical for Halloween stuff. <laughs> Let's move on. Let's just get out of here and get away from this intelligent conversation. Alright, let's see what we got next. Oh yeah, the ghost bubble. We have this very haunted objects. And the names Mr. Chef, Mr. Jazz, and Miss Fashion. So, let's get her a costume. And she will disappear into our little caged area. A proton pack didn't end up working for this. I tried. It does exist in this game. They did make sure of that. And let's make some organ music for the Mr. Jazz. Yeah. Alright. The organ's one of my favorite creepy sounding uh, instruments. The violin's the other one, but... Hmm. I just love that, like, eerie music. Alright. So, we have to stop the clock from jumping around, so it makes some items that are going to hold its place. And my key sexual joke for the episode is in the bust. I was hoping it would be of some famous author or something, but what can you expect from low-end graphics? Oh well. Alright, my favorite little uh, bust is of... Poe, and it's just very, you know, ornate and really strong looking. Okay, now we have our make the enemy troops into something a little bit nicer. Oh wow, they really didn't like that flower. But at least it distracted them long enough for the zombie minions, my brethren, to infect them all. Now to run for the star right, well, before they realize that I'm not really a zombie. <laughs> Alright, cool. Alright, and last but not least, it wouldn't be Halloween without, you guessed it, Cthulhu. Go do your job, and let's make a wall for the villagers, because we can't harm them. Yes, Cthulhu, enjoy your trick-or-treaters. You've been waiting. Okay, so that's been it for our Halloween special of Let's Play Scribble Nuts. I hope you've enjoyed this. And there's more on the way. This has been, if you were wondering, level 9's uh, puzzle stages. So we're going to get back into level 5. But till next time, folks. <laughs>